Uh, I say I gotta run, but I just wanted to pop down a couple of examples. I, I did this in Creative before and posted pictures, but I thought it'd, it'd be good to have it in here. A couple of ideas for how you could do the we could do the forge, a bigger forge. If you guys want to take a I remember you. I, I didn't ever get around to actually looking at that. Yeah, I figured I'd just build it here and and so out outside of the forgery. If you come take a look real quick. Okay, um, I'll be able to in a moment. Options. So this is the oh, the four by seven. Rose, that, Rose Fox, thanks for following. Which will get you uh, five forges. And I had um, bellows on the back three. Mm -hmm. But of course you could do whatever. Uh, and then these up here would be like your anvils. So you could do three or four or five anvils up front easily enough. And then a single person could actually stand here and work all five if you needed to, or you could kind of come off to the side and just work one or two at a time. So that, that's uh, kind of the linear layout. Does the chimney not have to be above or adjacent to above? You, you need a chimney within one of each. So the, it would need the to be two a chimney blocks, here chimney would have to and be a here. chimney here, yeah. Right, in okay. front of the two barrels there, yep. And right. I'm assuming that so the barrels are for all the charcoal, oh, okay. for all the coal at least, because... This would be coal heavy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would almost make the barrel, well, some barrels at least for uh, water. Well, yeah. So that you can easily cool down stuff. Yeah, well, fire, well, Firedale well, and I kind of. Oh, oh. oh, oh. oh man. There we go. I mean, one so Firedale and I kind of. Perfect. Fire but it had I, I, I do have to ask in Essos, okay. what is this? Is it a forgery for ants? Uh -huh. what? The real the real one must be three times as big. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes, Zoolander. If you would, if you require. Okay. Up back here is the other one I was looking at. I don't know if you like this one better. You can actually make it smaller than this, but then it just ends up being like every single block full of junk. So. This would be four forges in a circular pattern, and you would put um, like an anvil and a bucket or whatever up here, and then each side would have an anvil and a barrel, not bucket, barrel, anvil and a barrel on all sides and go all the way around it. I guess these corner ones are like nothing. Well, it's, it's more of an issue of what can we build in there. Yeah, and what will fit, right? So. How how would one expand that, and Check what would this up. actually work well in there? Well, the thing with like this one that you've got up on top here, the floor way, mm -hmm. is you can set that in the floor, can't you? Yeah, yeah. And I, I actually mean, I was messing with that too. Set it down in the floor level, and then you can actually walk kind of partially up onto it. With Ian stuff down here, there's still room. For one thing down from the ceiling, just for that spot there, <clears throat> each of the forges has to have something under it on it. And the the four way, yeah. you only need one chimney, right? Um, right. Yep. yep. Why don't we just move? Oh, there is room down here. Why don't we move the bloomery? Yeah, that's yeah, what I was talking that was about one of the thoughts, before. Yeah. Was moving the bloomery over here. Sorry, I wasn't even listening. I was just thinking. I was in deep thought. You probably actually said that, and I was like completely oblivious no, no. before you were here. I don't think we said it here, but yeah, that was one of the thoughts. If we move the bloomery out, then we could just make that wider. Yeah, we could just move the bloomery where the coke oven currently is. Yep. And then yep. we're good. Oh, because, because then we have all the room in the world. We could. <laughs> We have some room, but we still have to get on the blast furnace and the bloomery. Well, I guess you just move the, the stairs over to this corner. Yeah, yeah, that would work. Yep, we just move everything over. Sounds so then we just need to clear out this corner of stuff so that we can get a bloomery here instead. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Sounds and then if you do the, the, the linear yeah. one, <laughs> instead of just making it, you know, three or whatever, mm -hmm. you could actually do double deep and you can get five of them in there real easy. So one, two, three, four, five. So this is five. With two more blocks, you can get uh, five forges in there. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Well, time to move this crap around. 
Anyway, so that was just my thoughts on it. But like I said, I gotta One, get going here. Take care. Town and things. Let me just drop a few things off, and I'll be done for the day. Yay! Yay! Yay. What the? Good day. Good to have you back, Pack. Now we just need to get Hun home so she can actually stream one of these days. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Someday. I know she's missing it. I know she's missing it, and we're all missing her. For hey, sure. Fuchs. How you doing, buddy? So, oh, 9,000. Okay. Where do I Oop. put these things? There are so many barrels full of stuff to move to get to this coke oven. Oh, that's an instant thing, huh? Mm hmm. And then. Twelve hours. Oh. Ooh. That's actually a good thing. That. Oh, that automatically goes on my pack. How you doing, Fuchs? Good to see you, my friend. Alright, so... Bring this one on back. And... That's unnecessary, so we can empty that out. Oh, well, that was a bad move. Okay. Oh, uh, Nihon. Yes! Since you weren't on earlier, can you help uh, mm -hmm. familiarize the new cows? Oh, sure. Um, I've got them today, but you lose progress if you forget. Anything. Okay. Yeah, I can. I can do that. How do? Is there anything special I have to do to familiarize them? Just shift right click with with um, corn or or grain okay. or whatever. I'll corn give you the corn I've been carrying around. Okay. Ah, uh, somebody walked off with a bucket again. Oh, I have a bucket. I have the bucket, I, I think. I borrowed it. Leaving it in, in there. Yeah, yep. there's uh, at least one that's ready to milk. I forget which one. Okay. I think I saw one. Yep, right here. Right here? Yep. Oh, which one? Uh, if you float over, oh, there you go. it should say you. milk with a with a yep. uh, check mark for the ones that you can milk. Oh, I may have accidentally clicked a little too hard and drank it and said. Yeah, that's all right. Yep. It happens. Let's see. We Two more really buckets that are good. And there's vinegar here, so as soon as you get those other two two buckets, throw a bucket of vinegar in and seal it up. And so another... shift, so shift. Shift, right, shift right click? With the corn, yeah. I just yes. did Most it all though. Maxwell, okay. congratulations on the 11-month pack of rice and the ones when you shift, if yeah. you see the, mm -hmm. the the golden heart means that they are Ooh. as familiarized as they can possibly get, so don't bother. Okay. And the white around it means they are familiarized enough that you won't lose progress if you don't feed them that day. I okay. have the rod. There you go. All right. So that's another thing I did pack. I spent hours and hours, finally found mm -hmm. some cows last, last week and brought them home. I think I remember something about that, yeah. Oh, yeah. did you see the new uh, airship, by the way? Well, the new, well I kind of glanced at it. It's slightly redesigned. It's much easier to fly now and actually land somewhere. So yeah. do I put the vinegar in when? You need nine buckets of milk. And, and then, then one put in one bucket of vinegar. Okay. Can't, can't you put the vinegar in any time? Okay, yeah, because I just did that. Possibly. I want to make sure I didn't. Yeah, I just yeah. did it. It just says milk vinegar mix, so I'll just put in milk, the next two buckets of milk, and I can seal yeah. that, right? Yeah. Okay. Yep. That's what I figured. That should do it. Yay! All right, I go back to my back to my room, my beautiful room that Firedale built. <laughs> go to your room. That's right. And think about what bad, you did. Bad Minecrafter. Bad Minecraft. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. Thanks. Thanks. Had fun as always. Yep. Catch you guys later. Yep. Catch later. you later. Where 
food. Do we have any more food? Uh, we should. There should be some in the uh, fridge down there. So I made a metal press mold for the plates. I'm just gonna go test that out. <laughs> Yeah, the Inesso's cow with the shades is pretty funny. Toot. One second, why can't I see this? I don't know. Sounds like I'm trying to, to move copper ingots around. It's like, got me standing on top of an invisible ingot. Okay, so now, there we go. Now I, oh, well, there you go. Uh-huh, interesting. That was annoying. Um. There. Okay, so for the metal press, is there an interface I have to use? Um. No, you just put something on one side and it comes out the other side after it's pressed. Thank you, Ian. Okay. Hmm. Like, drop it. Okay. Like... That. That does not seem to be moving, is the thing. Also, I ate my plate. It doesn't look like you used... Where, where, what recipe are you trying... There it is. So, metal press yeah. mold plate. Is Plates. that what you're trying to do? Yes. Yes. And I put the plate, I clicked on it with the plate, and the plate is no longer in my inventory. Huh. Because it seems oh, like wait, Oh, wait, okay. I, I just grabbed it. I grabbed it. It's, it is there. Oh, okay. Okay, see, it, you can Good. see it when it's there. Okay, right, watch it. Okay. Shift right click, pulls it off. Right click, puts it on. You can see it when it goes down. Now, uh, plate. I think oh, I know. Yeah, I think I know what the problem is. was. There we go. I think I know what the problem was. You probably. I think you need two. Okay. Two. Let's just try this. No. Nope. Okay. Let me look at the, the raw iron plate then. Mm -hmm. Which plate is this? You should just make a. An iron plate. Did you can make what the frick are clay plates used for? That's a good question. I don't know. That, okay, that that's a thing now. Hoppers. Okay. Well, hoppers work. Okay. Oh, well, maybe we need a hopper for that. Maybe we can hopper feed it onto the the thing. Hold on. Loco, Loco's saying it. We might, uh, hopper would work for that. Um, remember, uh, Sturgeon's still working on that mod, so he might be adding stuff that doesn't have a use yet. Okay. Okay. Now this is re recipe. You put one raw iron ingot in, a me metal press bolt plate, and it should pop out an iron plate. <laughs> That is correct. And we have power in this uh, thing, right? <laughs> yeah. We have we power. Do. So, hmm. Do you have one more conveyor belt, just out of curiosity? I do not know. We need to get the recipes for how to make steel shoots. Hmm. But mommy, all the other yeah, kids okay. have shiny new bikes. Why can't I have a pet llama? It's the, like uh, having an automatic bike book. with a turret there goes. on the front. Oh, you got it? Yep. How Brainy, thank you for the one dollar tip. The decision oh, oh, there we go. Oh. Now. Thank you, Brainy. Thank you. So that so was the issue. You needed to, it, it needed oh. to conveyor into it. Oh. 
So it could probably work with a hopper, but it also just works with this. I wonder, Willie, could, could you just put a chest on the end of this thing? Probably. That does. Might, yeah, Lobo's saying work. it might pull. It might pull out of a chest. I don't know about that, but we could try with the. This doesn't work. It's got to. It's okay. got to convey yeah, into that one direction. It's got to be. It's got to be straight because it's. I think it's hitting the edge and it's like stopping. It's like nope. Yep, that's exactly right. Yeah, there it goes. You guys want to look into those mechanical arms that uh, pick things up from conveyor belts and yes. put them on other conveyor belts? Yes, that worked. It went right to the chest. Nice. I believe those are from Magnetic Craft, though. Ah. Can we try putting a chest on the end here where this conveyor belt is and see if it, seeing if it pulls from that? Carbonite reactor debris. It's from the toilet first. It's the rock crusher. It's different. It is. Did you see, have you ever seen that block? Which one? Carbonite reactor debris. I was looking. I've up seen arm. it when I've been in the twilight forest before. I was looking up arm for the arm that he was just talking about. And it, wow. Yeah. I would not. I would not <laughs> want to build a house. Is that a mineable block or is it? A I don't know. I was gonna say you could mine a block and then build a house out of it, and then everyone would come over to your house and <laughs> have a seizure. The Caesar House! Yay! Pack, not... It's called an inserter. Inserter. Do not look directly into house. It may cause blindness. Ah! Carpet dingus. Oh, high carbon black steel, really? So that would take from a chest and put it onto Pumps a conveyor, thing. is that what you're saying? It should. Okay, but it I won't... know it works with the magnetic craft conveyors. I haven't tried mm -hmm. it with the immersive engineering conveyors. Well, for science. <laughs> and we're just going to test. But you're Are we all yes. making gliders or something? You're going to need no. carbide ingots, though. Yeah, that's that and that requires some uh, tungsten intense stuff. No, it doesn't seem like that's Nope, doesn't do it. Nope. That's fine. That is honestly fine. We don't need it to go that bad. Oh. What it does is it, ca it holds an item here until there's room, and then it'll send, ah. send it on here one at a time. I see. So if you put it like you a stack a hopper. on the conveyor. I see, I see, I see. But we don't need a hopper. Yeah. Don't, we don't need a hopper. Hoppers are expensive. Pick on you. Expensive enough. I forget how to make a hopper. Yep. Forget how to make one. It's okay. You need to make a TFC yeah. hopper and then convert it, if I remember correctly. Oh, I've been Which requires. Uh, Hi, Firedale. Um... Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back, Firedale. <laughs> Which requires eight double sheets of pig iron. Or eight, eight, mm -hmm. eight, eight, eight ingots of pig iron. Which would be two, uh, four double sheets. Or two double sheets. So, yeah. Which you gotta okay. then pound together into a hopper, and then you need to hit him with a hammer in order to turn it into a regular hopper. Yeah. Uh, just a... Okay. Gotcha. And now, hop up our pack and, and push against it. Hop up, hop up to what now? Hop on top of this and push against it. Go against. Hop on, the hop on top. Isn't that a? Isn't that a book? A Dr. Seuss book? And go against the flow. Oh. Mm-hmm. You needed a way to get your items from your uh, spider spawner. It's true. That is true. Could the hardest thing to make now are the raw turn two years. That would make sense. Because the gears we've now got covered by the press. Uh, hmm. Circle. See the scaffolding. This is also what I wanted to show you. The scaffolding. Boom. Just push against it. Make, yeah, you can climb it. It's auto smart moving. You can disable your smart moving, and it will walk you up. At well, all it's basically time. like a ladder. Yeah, uh, a lot, there's a oh, lot of scaffolding mods that do that. That's it, that, I always love that feature of scaffolding. 
you think if you stack them on top of each other. Yeah, I think it'll. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> yep. The invisible okay. should avoid drinking soda at movie Stop theaters. Down. As the trip to the laboratory um, later is awkward. Um, Master Matt, thank you for the three dollar tip. Much appreciated, and uh, thank you for the compliment of that I am the best man ever. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. So. I don't know if it's glitched now or what, but what? the uh, the blast furnace instead of taking twenty out of twenty, it only takes sixteen out of twenty for the uh, for the um, not the blast furnace, the uh, yeah the blast furnace. It has a capacity of six, twenty out of twenty, but it, I can only fit sixteen in it, and I can't toss any more in there. Hold on, and you you need to put more. Uh, well, more it is now apparently spring. No, I got 20 charcoal in there. Oh. I only got 16, uh... It's only letting me throw 16 more in there. Oh. I have 16 flux in there as well. Why are uh, there spruce barrels of stuff in the way to go... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, let's move this. Oh, is that... Okay, it worked now. Yeah, it's, it's been spring, lag. but it's still not good enough time to plant stuff yet. I wonder uh, if... I wonder if all these things are making it bounce... No, it didn't go in. Okay. I wonder if the fact that we put all the uh, the lumber here is actually making it bounce all over the place. Should. It's possible that it's not high enough. Maybe when it was moved up one, it wasn't moved or rebuilt up one properly. I don't know. Okay, um, let me see the bits. Okay. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And the charcoal? Oh. I got it. You got it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Because I went to throw it in there and it just bounced right back out at me. Oh, there it is. Okay. Seems like gotta... it took a second. Yeah, sometimes it can. There it goes. Okay. So you're good now. All right, thank you. No problems. You just gotta like try to get them. Sometimes it takes a second for it to yeah. settle. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was bouncing out. I think it was catching the edges and wasn't settling, and I was like, "Oh, you didn't." No, it was. It was, You had it right. You just gotta leave it on top of there for a second. Uh, Sometimes it takes a second for it to re okay. realize. Oh, you have things here. <laughs> you have things. I need to. Uh, I need to make all the things happen. I have a job to do. Hooray! So I was gonna make some more pig iron so we could test some more stuff though. So he now MKK, the... um, remember when you were working? You were making this. You were using the spruce. You know there's a there's a field of um, oak o over here, right? Um, apple oak. Yes. That grows faster. Because it cut down easier. It does. It cuts down just the same. Doesn't it? Well, pine oak has some uh, ledging off bits that are slightly mm -hmm. harder to cut down. They have. Apple oak has a what coming off of it? A ledge. There's little beast pieces of wood that come off the main. Uh, well, yeah, but but these but these ones aren't as bad because they're apple oaks, and because apple oaks are not vanilla oaks, they don't have like the giant bits of them coming all over the place. On the other hand, they do grow stupid quick. So, you know, and oh, give a lot of sense. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, MKK. The... I'm proud of you. The tree cap cater top. Thing. You can Minecraft. I'm so proud. Yeah. Okay, so that goes there and there. And we get apples that we can do nothing with. Well, actually, We're I think we can eventually turn them into fuel. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. I just set up a, ch a chest over here just to start storing apples. Okay. Oh, you know, I got a chest. There we go. Chest. Oh, it doesn't apples. connect back because it's part of the metal press. That's why it didn't Let's connect over to it. Make something. What didn't? The uh, conveyor belts. One, the two, one sticking out, you can make an one. L. But the one actually part of the metal press, it has to go straight in. I see. So that's okay. Why it wouldn't connect from the side. Okay. That makes sense. 
I got a feeling it might be that. What does what you do on that? Go straight in. Yeah, it wants it wants to do its full animation. That's pretty much what it is. Ooh, I wonder. Um, let's see. Oh, is it? Ah, yes, I gotta, gotta go do that as well. On the other side, if you accidentally throw something on that you don't mean to, at least it's good enough to uh, be nice and kind of you and give it out the other side after it tries to press it. What's the heck? Heck? Come uh -huh. look. You gotta see this. What? It's an escalator. You have an escalator. You have, a, you have acquired escalator. We should set one of those up next to the uh, blast furnace so that we don't have to climb the stairs anymore. Hmm. Well, the man. Where's the bottom one pack of reservoirs? Does it actually fall off the end of the conveyor belt, or does it sit there at the end? That's an interesting idea. Hold on. Here you go. Find it. it should dump off, I think. And... You know, why don't you do that? Let's see if I put the time there. Because that's, the, that's how the immersive engineering crusher works, is you're supposed to dump stuff into the top of it. That's good. Yes, sir. So let me break this. Oh, going down is hard on that thing. Oh. you got to try going and down that. You. Oh. You do not that. go I down. You have a chance before No, you do time. not. That is a one-way trip. So let's see. We throw that on. Yep. yep it dumps falls it. off the other end. You set but that up and... with a blast furnace, you got to be careful because you you still have to work your way around the uh, frame and all that stuff. You'd have to do it one block higher than the blast furnace. Yeah. Ooh. Made it. Hey. I kind of want to see barrel. Yeah, if it only goes up by one, it can't go up to Now, let's, this is the big deal. So now, if it actually takes me up, well, it took me up, let's see if it will take an item up. Yep, you can go at an angle. Yep, you can go at an angle. It don't look like it, but it, it works. I should check on... Check on the... So you could do that well. with the bloomer and the blast furnace. That's pretty nifty. Oh, I'm getting so distracted. I was trying to work on the oh sticks earlier, and I'm already working on well, Now I'm on the apple oaks. We so have we a need... lot of cocoa coke ovens running. So we just coke need a lot of iron. Yeah. <laughs> Always need a lot of iron. There we go. So to make it easier to throw stuff on here. I oh, can't do it. It won't go up straight to the metal press. So yeah, the metal press conveyors just can't be connected to normal. But I did move it and it now goes into the other chest there. Well. I was a steam oven? Sticks. What the heck is that? Probably an oven that works off steam, steam engines. Hmm? Or that. Um, yeah, the steam oven makes steam that uh, makes the steam engine jam. Oh. Yeah, I'm thinking these lumber things are actually making the, uh, making the ingots bounce before they hit the the thing so it's not catching them it's still driving you nuts huh yeah we may i, I mean if it's a problem i may want to have to ask that those be changed a little bit because i'm having having some serious issues it looked like it hit the spruce fence yeah it's hitting the spruce fence and then it's bouncing back onto these things that's what it's doing yeah so, so let's move, move the fence we could do that 
Okay, vents removed. There. Not okay. one in five. Yeah, now it's now it's working better. As long as it uh as long as it works good. That's ultimately what matters. Mm-hmm. Oh, it makes making wire coils easier. We can do one for one instead of having to make four yep. at a time. Yep. That's why I like it with the plates too, because you can do it on one for one instead of having to do it like you need to make two or make like four of them and then throw them in a big old roller and have enough power for that. And... Do we need to make a blast furnace? For what? We... Oh, never mind. Are you talking about the arc furnace? Uh, probably. I'm going to work on making the other plates unless somebody has already started on that too. I have... I have not, so feel okay. free to have at it. Oh yeah, um, for the arc furnace, you guys, because the world was generated early, there isn't any way for you guys to get the blueprints for the electrodes. Oh. All we have to do is go to ungenerated chunks. Just have to explore further. Is that right? It's just a dungeon loot then, right? Yeah, it's just a dungeon. Oh, come here. It's, yeah, it's just in a dungeon chest somewhere. What happened to all the pig iron? It got used up in the testing, and I had to make some steel plates to make the uh, press, but I'm making some more right now. Well, not the press, but the mold. I was thinking the big bad wolf huffed and puffed and blew it all down. Okay. Got the... Five more for you. What else did you use them for? We had a big O stack over here. Well, I messed up and made a double pig iron ingot. Oh. Yep. Just two ingots. Yeah. Melt it in the crucible. You could do that. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'll, yeah I'll do that. Just melt it down again. That makes more sense. Makes more sense than leaving it there. Especially if we want the ingots, so... There we go. So I'll melt that back down and put them back in the pile. I need 16. But yeah, that, uh... To make the... To make the mold, I need 8 of those. Um... Yeah, I know the mold. Yeah. For that took a lot. That was the one that I was about to work on, because now to make the other molds that we need, we can just use that mold directly. Okay. To make the um, make the other molds just oh yeah, because you just need that for the, the steel plates, right? Right. Okay, that makes sense. More sticks. Dang it. The cat's still there, huh? Hans' cat. Yep. You guys didn't do anything with over two weeks, huh? No, we're not that cruel. Well, I didn't I say just... kill it. <laughs> hey, no, I didn't say kill it either. You're the one just. Well, you just made it sound like you were gonna do something cruel. You're the one just making that insinuation pack. You're the one who has that idea. That's all you. <laughs> Maybe. So, so for the, uh, okay, yeah, that's right. That is correct. What is it that you guys are working on right now, anyways? Um, I'm working on making the other metal press bit. Yep. The other metal know press. What Nihon's working on. I'm just making some more wrought iron for the uh, the pile. Package it. I'm checking on these trees. The trees? That well, no, it takes time. I I'm was making it take a while. I'm gonna make another batch of pig iron as well. But I can check on it again. Putting the goggles on. Let's go take a look. Do I even have a grafter? I 
do not. You had made several inside oh. in the uh, the carpenter when you left. I see. They should be yeah. there. Well, I give you a super idea. Yeah, yeah I used up one of them. I don't know where the other one went. Let's see. This 5% chance multiple times is going to take so much time. Oh, I see one up there that needs to get hit. And I've seen the bees spread it out stupid far, so it's entirely possible for it to go way out here, too. Yep. Still have thirty four coke oven for some that double that double one melted down for you. Good. All right. Is that heat up? It is not a sequoia. So let's see. In order to get Nine sequoia saplings. Oh, you just chopped that down. I was going to use... MKK, I was leaving those up for breeding. I thought this was just off of the edge of uh, this radius. They go out to about as far as you were just at, and I wanted to line up the... the, the um, bull pine on the right and the mundane larch on the left and uh, uh, let them breed next to each other. At least see if I can do something here. Yeah, I'm trying to clear out all the extra trees though because we have the uh, apple oak thing. Yeah. Mm. And just, I, I've just, this area I've just been do, trying to do for breeding stuff and things. Stuff and things. I don't and... see any other ones that I can hit right now. Assorted like items. I was, like I was just saying, in order to get a sequoia sap, a true sequoia, we need nine saplings at a 5% drop rate per time that they breed. And nine saplings. So anybody got, a, anybody got a saw hanging around? It's 20 per sapling. Which means I'm going to need to use 16 grafters to make this thing. <laughs> okay. 160 possible. Yeah. Meow. Meow. I'm going to need more grafters. It's possible to make proven grafters, right? Yeah. But they require the royal jelly. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. Oh, yes, they do. Okay. <laughs> yes, they do. Yep. That sucks. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I was starting to work towards that, because proven grafters are good for what we're trying to do. Working on consolidating the sticks. That's done. Time, I was moving the bloomery. Now let me put more crap away so I can actually move the bloomery. Yes, Yamina. Uh, from a mm -hmm. chat, remote, Yamina Royal Jelly is something that you get through the, from, from the higher tiers of bees. Yeah. Yes. You gotta get to the higher tiers before you can even get Royal Jelly. Why am I carrying pipes? I don't know. <laughs> that's a good question. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I can't answer that one.
and a chisel. Why am I carrying a chisel? Whatever. I'll just put it up. I really don't know. Why are you carrying a chisel? I don't know why I'm carrying a chisel. <laughs> I mean, having an emergency chisel is not a bad thing, but you know. I don't know if you need one for every occasion. Okay. Oh. Empty, empty. Random planks. And for some reason I have a sign. I don't even know why I have a sign. That one's probably the one that uh, fell off the conveyor we were testing right as you stepped by it. Okay. Well, I figured out something to do with it, so I'm good. It required questions. Treated with planks. I don't know why I have that. You just have all the things. Yeah! Yeah, I seem to. Pop that down there. And that goes there. Goes there. Do a little dance. Make a little iron. So. Wait. Hey, Pack. Yeah? Do we know if changing the length of the year still breaks the world? Changing the length of the world or length of the year makes it so that the crops slow down in their production. Last that I checked, it's making it so that you can't actually get a harvest before you get hungry. That's what was happening in the last pack that I played in um, Tech Node Firmacraft. That's what that's what the problem I had there. I don't know if I would have the same problem here, but I'm going to take a wild guess and say probably. Okay. Because they have thanks a lot for... of stuff tied to that same stuff, yeah. Yeah, thanks for the answer. No problem. Could be wrong, but that's what I saw last time. What the frick is that? I think there have been two TFC core updates since then. Yeah. But that, I doubt they were doing anything for that. Yeah, I don't remember seeing it in the... Um change logs. Right, I don't remember that either. Charging station. So let's go ahead and boop. Boop. I'm sorry. So sorry? Why are you sorry? I'm starving. Starving? Oh! Starving. Oh, yeah. Don't worry, don't worry. I Get some more food to you soon. There's two. There should be some. That's some food that's already for me stocked in the fridge. And as soon as this cheese finishes up, I'll make some more. Oh, are you fixing sandwiches now? Yeah, I guess somebody has to do it. Okay. My... Okay. The Coke oven on the top. Don't put wood in. I'm trying to empty that one so that I can move the bloomery. Gotcha. Use the other Coke ovens. Use the Coke oven. Mashing. The one on very top? The main, the, the what used to be the main one, yes. Yeah, well, why don't we go ahead and break it? Well, I now got to empty out the creosote that was in there. There's none in it. Okay, that works. <laughs> uh, it had all been removed already. Well, I did just remove it, but I think someone, I think uh, MKK just tossed some more logs in there, so. Doesn't matter. So, do we only want six downstairs? There, there will be more. And once it's automated, it's going to go all on its own, anyways. So it'll seem faster than it actually is.
How are you going to fit more? Dig. Dig. Can you dig it? There's always more room to go down. Yep. Okay, I'm going to put the Coke oven bricks I got in the brother chest upstairs. And sadly, I don't think you can stack them. I think the multi-block won't let you. Uh, if you leave a gap, it will work. Yeah. Um, but you can't compress them down to immediately next to each other. Th this work table is now right where the bloomery has to go. Along with two chests full, uh, a barrel full of mortar and a chest full of sand. Can we put that somewhere else? Because I don't know where to put it. Yep. Um. Hmm. Where my other two? Stones? How do I get? The, how do I get the? Uh, how do I get this to switch from single item storage for the, the barrels to multiple item storage? Uh, oh. Log um, out. Log back in. Oh. Okay. If you're only seeing the one thing, then it's the hiccup. Just gotta log out, log back in, then click okay. the second tab. Makes sense. Yeah, because I knew I was supposed to click the second tab. I only saw one item in there. Ah, there we go. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, oh you can actually throw a stack of stuff onto the... Uh little presser thing and it yep. will draw them out one at a time to get them all. Did you get it, Nihon? No. Yeah, I got it. It was a glitch. Yeah. It was a glitch. Alright, good. Yep. Okay. Just an ordinary, everyday Where do we visual glitch. The workshop. Or okay, the work so table. Make... I'd say put it over here one in the workshop. for myself. Yeah, I think that big oh. Ian. He was he was really doing it over there, I think, because that's where he's making the uh I stop. I stop blocks. Oh, hold, hold on, I gotta see that again. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> what did he do? Did he do something awesome? High stop! Oh, I didn't do it again. On my screen when I hit you for a high stub, your hands just went Wait, I'm in there really quick and went back down again. It's like you went, ah! It was oh, amazing! Oh. It was a. What did you just see it on my stream? Lemons up. Yeah, it's just like. like it's just, it only worked once! I wonder. I still. Oh, it didn't work. It, it only did it when he like stood right like right here. Right I still. Well, you just stood for a second there when you did that. I still. Nope. Oh, I was trying to replicate what I was doing back. When I did it. <laughs> it's all right. We're good. Back. Try to recreate that. We tried to recreate that. It didn't work. Um, uh, might have been buttons or something. Who knows? Okay. We'll just but that. Ian, we need to work. Move the work table. Okay. I'm We're gonna move the work that. table to the workshop because the bloom rate is gonna go right here. I actually gotta move like everything in this corner, but uh, there's yep. a lot of crap here to move, and I think I could use some help with that. If anyone wants to make gears the slightly easier but somewhat cheap or not cheap depending on the gear way, then the metal press now has the mold necessary. Nice. Gotcha. They're in the chest that picks up the stuff after it's put in. So, question. Would it... Would it is something I'm go I'm oh it's a fly thingy. Don't uh, get in the way of my helmet. Hmm. It will kill you probably. Probably. Uh, so the thing I was thinking about making would it be a bad idea to make the Black Spear rocket launcher? <laughs> <laughs> it just walked right past that too. Oh. Well, I was I doing something with that. that the other day. I. I don't remember what it was. But what advantage do they have? What, work tables? No, like, the, what do the rockets do? I don't know. Make things go boom? Yeah. But <laughs> don't we want to not boom anything in our general vicinity? Well, we would test it outside. 
I don't think they damage the terrain. Okay. Oh. There is a rocket specifically called a mining rocket. Um, Pack, what do you want to put the work table? I don't know. Hey, Fire Dough, this is your building. Where do you want to put the work table? I'd say just stick it down somewhere for the time being. It's just, just a crafting table, right? Oh, well, yeah, but I it has stuff in it. I what it was. Right, I, I added the rocket launcher to the reward bags. Oh. And I gave it a unique name. Interesting. You can only get it in, like, the epic and legendary bags, though. Where do you want to put the uh, stuff for this bag? Hmm. Well, it's probably going to have to be the chest huh. that's next right, to it. So there's but... some, there's, there is some more food in the, the fridge just for those gonna, of you who are hungry. Just going to have to move yes, what's hungry. in this chest. I'd say move stuff in this chest over to probably... Firedale, would you mind if we move stuff in this chest? Over hey, to you this chest. Can't walk down this <laughs> at all. I see so that. No normally, mob traps go down. You now with this one, you can make a mob trap go up, and they can't get back down. Yeah, I was. I was actually considering that. With you could make it so that the mobs go up the conveyor belt and then fall into their doom, but. That's beside the point. Hey, fire down. Could, could could we have this chest space over here? Sure. Because next to where the work table is, okay. and we got I got an inventory full of crap. Apparently, the chest does too. Originally, well, that's what that's the. Nervous. This is the crap that we're trying to figure out where to put the uh, dolomite bricks and the dolomite rocks, gravel, sand, all that stuff. The the rock crusher obviously is not one of those things. Is um he just kind of realize. threw stuff in oh. there? Oh, I thought you were needing the space where the chest is. No, we we need a space to put crap. So oh, we need the, the dolomite, chest. All the dolomite stuff can go over in the dolomite chest. And... Well, he's using it to craft stuff that requires dolomite. Oh, then yeah, go ahead and leave it there if you don't Sand, want to. Sand, dolomite, all that stuff, and gravel for like the dolomite road bricks and stuff. Oh, yeah. road bricks. Oh, believe yeah, me, I know sure. all about dolomite road and bricks. <laughs> oh yeah, I know. This is just easier. At least now you can actually set. I wouldn't set the recipes for the furnace like the uh, coke oven because that just has many recipes. I mean, uh, actually, it does work. It's just I don't eat for locking it. I don't recommend that. Hey, Pack, you can just trash that red bucket. It's not needed <laughs> hey. anymore. Where is the red Quake? bucket? Good to see you, buddy. How how are things going for you, Quake? Haven't seen you around in a while. We didn't end up using it, so it was in the chest you were just looking at. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> That's probably where he thought about it. Okay. I was not are we paying going attention to that. Uh, plant vegetables now since it's green. We can't. It's, uh, it's just because it's at... Matter, it's temperature. Yeah, oh. it's the temperature mm -hmm. that matters, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah gonna we be won't be able to until uh, the end of the month. Yeah, okay. otherwise they'll just reseed. In both senses of the word. Jeez, we have so many crystal... We need to get more crystal tanks. That's why I was working on all the copper over there was uh, to work on setting up the automation for everything for the things downstairs. So yep. Jade. Because the void wouldn't use as raw time, but the come on heat up the wood equivalent uses heat copper. Heat on up. Oh, uh. Pack, there was something that Wolf had mentioned earlier uh, about blocks that cause damage. Oh, or did a he? Possible mob trap. That like? I don't what it was. It was a fire geyser type block. The encased fire jet. Ah, uh, from Twilight Forest, <laughs> yeah. What about the encased fire jet? Causes it's pretty damage. hot. <laughs> yeah, it's a little hot. 
Did you test how, how does it like actually kill mobs in vanilla it damage? It does though? vanilla fire damage initially, but the after the after effect burn damage okay. is TFC damage. Okay. It, it doesn't I'm burn it doesn't burn items. Yeah. So you probably want to test it in creative mm -hmm. because it's, it doesn't yep. have the full uh, recipe yet. Okay. It should work. Oh, the encased fire jet. I'm damage? looking at the encased smoke. Sorry. Was this the TFC damage on it? I have another interesting question. The conveyor belts. If something drops on them, do they take fall damage? Yes. That's a good question. They do. Because that would be a better way of doing the whole conveyor thing that we were trying to do before. With the spiders? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Get all those... Because it's low enough to kill a majority of the spiders that, that are in there. We could technically lower it one more block, and especially if we put conveyors on it, which would be its own set, uh, problem. Yeah. But if we do that, that, w that would mean that we could have the spiders fall on top of there and then conveyor the items straight up to a chest up above. Yep, that should be good. It would require a large amount of conveyors, though. Well, again, the hardest part of it now is the two years. Oh, let's see. The room size itself is a... Uh, I think it's a 9x9. Nine nine. So that's 81 conveyors, and then we would need enough to get it up about 25 blocks. So we'd probably need like 100 and... About two stacks of conveyors. Uh, actually, I've got a question for you. Mm -hmm. You know how the fan stops fall damage, right? But it still pulls the mobs. Uh -huh. What if you put a fan up top so that they are pulled towards it so they fall in a smaller area as opposed to the, the entire floor, anywhere in the floor? What if they fall to a smaller area? If they would be pulled towards the fan, then wouldn't oh, it group them together in a smaller area? Well, we don't want them touching the wall. Oh, right. Spiders. Never mind. I'm right. crazy. Oh, that one needs to be cooled as well. Yes, okay. you take fall damage. I just verified just to make triple sure. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm still alive. Okay, good. I, I'm going to take it. I'm going to go fill up my water here and check up on Hunt again, right. make sure that she's got, getting her rides as she needed, and I will be back in just a moment, alright? I'm Ow. sorry for all the breaks here, guys, but uh, there's been a lot of crap going on today, so yeah. When I get back, I'll move, get back to moving the bloomery, so yeah. Back in a minute. Real life is fun. <laughs> it's fun.